Ang atong santos nga misa karon madunggan gikan sa San Pedro Cathedral. Today, will tell us about the Virgin who will bring Jesus here on earth with a name that implies great mission to save his people from their sins. The reciter of this holy mass is Reverend Father William Cahes. Please all stand. Silence waits the day when hope shall sing its trial and sadness flee away. Sweet Savior, haste, come, come to earth, this Show thy face and be the sail, the dawn of grace. Shall come in peace and meekness and lowly will, thy cradle be all fail. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, so pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord, your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, 
or high as the sky. But A has answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, is it not enough for you to worry people? Must you also worry my God? Therefore the Lord himself will give you the sign. The virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Established it upon the rivers. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand? In his holy place, one whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what in vain. shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God, his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of God of Jacob. Let the Lord enter. He is the King of glory. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Paul, a slave of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle and set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised previously through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures, the gospel about his son, descended from David according to the flesh but establish a son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness through resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord, 
Through him we have received the grace of apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the Gentiles, among whom are you also who are called to belong to Jesus Christ. To all the beloved of God in Rome, called to be holy. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. This is how the birth of Jesus Christ came about. When his mother Mary was betrothed to Joseph, but before they lived together, she was found with child through the Holy Spirit. Joseph, her husband, since he was a righteous man, yet unwilling to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Such was his intention when, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary, your wife, into your home. For it is through the Holy Spirit that this child has been conceived by her. She will bear a son, and you are to name him Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. Behold, the virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and they shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. When, Jesus, when Joseph awoke, he did as the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took his wife into his home. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, good morning. At the start of the Advent season, we have been presented right away with a major figure in the scripture in the person of John the Baptist. And later in the Advent season, particularly Towards the end of it, we would also be hearing the name Mary, which is another major figure also of Advent. But in between these two figures, there are also other individuals, like that of Zechariah, that later we would be hearing what had happened to him. Another figure also was Elizabeth. And of course, we would not have also to forget another person in the nativity is Joseph. Joseph, the one that we have heard in our gospel today. It would be quite easy to make some reflections concerning the message of John the Baptist, most especially if we are to give Advent recollections, because the message was very clear make straight 
the way of the Lord. Repent. Turn yourself from sins and return to the Lord. That would always be the center of the message of John the Baptist. That if we would have also to see on the Blessed Virgin Mary as another figure of Advent, and if we would have to make a reflection of that, it would be very easy also, not necessarily easy, but there are a lot of reflections being done concerning the fiat of the Blessed Mother, the yes of the Blessed Mother, and even when Mary went in haste to her cousin Elizabeth after knowing that Elizabeth was also pregnant. But the sacred scripture has not provided us with much stories referring to Joseph. But there is really the message that Joseph can also give us in the season of Advent. One particular example that we can draw, that if there is really something that Joseph would have really to challenge of us is that he allowed himself to be touched by the mysterious plan of God. Remember what he planned to do upon hearing and learning that Mary was already pregnant. Human as he was, he could have really felt angry towards the Blessed Mother because it was a form of betrayal. Parang binagsakan siya ng langit. If we would have really to look at that, every door that was open during the time may have been closed upon hearing that the one betrothed to him had betrayed him because she was already pregnant. Though he does not know really that it was really because of the Holy Spirit why Mary was impregnated. But it was only later. But human as he was, he planned really to divorce Mary. But even in that darkness of the soul of Joseph, he remained righteous and just. He has all the right really to expose Mary to shame. And even be brought, Mary be brought at the entrance of the door of her father in order for her to be th thrown with stone until she would die. That could have been the drastic action or decision of Joseph. That in the midst of that darkness of his soul, he remained just. He remained righteous. That if there is really one thing that we can really reflect in the season of Advent as a way of preparing also for the great celebration of the birthday of our Lord Jesus Christ, is to see when we are troubled, when we are in difficult situations, when we are in darkness also, what could have been the decisions that we have done? Are we making decisions that would offend and hurt other people? Just because we are so angry? Just because we are full of hatred deep inside of us? Or just because we are not in the good mood? But look at Joseph. Joseph, even if he felt that he was betrayed, he could not still afford to expose Mary and to put Mary into shame. And more so, he could not afford to let Mary be stoned to death. What a noble virtue that we could find in this person. That in this preparation, we would have really to closely examine ourselves about the situation where we are into. That in whatever difficult situation, depressing and oppressing situation, we are still admonished really to open our hearts and let the plan of God overwhelm us. And let the plan of God be the one that is to control us, to let us make a certain decision. And another gesture also that we could find, though it is not expressly mentioned, that for me also it is not necessarily to be expressly mentioned, since the situation has already provided it. That Joseph, in the midst of that darkness, in the midst of that problem, was asleep 
Dili man ka pwede magdamgo siguro kung gagisa, gasiga imong mata, no? And look at that. There are a lot of images of Joseph nowadays. I don't know when it really started. The sleeping Joseph. And I don't know what is also the meaning of that. But if I would have to look at it, that particular statue of Joseph sleeping, it is likely to say to each one of us that when we are problematic, when we are expressing difficulties, or when it seems that we could never find any solutions to our problems, tulugan mo ang iyong problema. Let God do the rest and trust all of our concerns to God. I think if there is really one message that that figure of Joseph can give us as described in the sacred scripture, particularly in the gospel, that he was dreaming, that it was in the dream, that he was able to know what was really the situation of the Blessed Mother. Dahil gitulog niya ang iyahang problema. And let the mysterious plan of God be the one to overwhelm him during that time. And when he was awakened, all the possibilities also opened before him. That there was that darkness of his soul. From darkness, there was light. That could have been the situation of a person entrusting all of his concerns to God. That the moment we learn really to put it at the hands of God, we would truly be experiencing also the light that God can afford for each one of us. That during the time, it seems that everything was already closed on the part of Joseph. Tinulogan niya. And when he was awoke, or when he was awakened, he noticed that a lot of windows were opened. And when he raised his eyes to the heavens, nakita niya ang atok na buslot niya ay that there is that light entering. That may have been the situation if we would learn really to entrust everything to the Lord. Joseph is teaching us in the season of preparation. And Joseph definitely can lead us to our Lord Jesus Christ also. It is not only when we are to listen to John the Baptist admonishing us to prepare the way of the Lord and not only of the fiat of the Blessed Mother, but even the reaction of Joseph after that announcement that he had heard from the angel in a form of a dream. So brothers and sisters in the Lord, as we are coming near to the celebration of Jesus' birthday, may we also learn to continuously open our hearts for the message that God would like us to embrace with. May God bless us all. Please rise. Together, let us profess our faith as we say, I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from, from light, light, true, true God, God from true God, God begotten not, not made, but substantial with the Father. Through Him all things are made, for us for men us and for our salvation. He came, he came down, down from heaven, and by the, by the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. 
and I and look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. God entrusted His only begotten Son to Joseph and Mary. Grateful to the Lord for this precious gift to humanity, let us now offer our prayers for the needs of the whole church. In every prayer we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the ministers of the church, may they continue to teach the people of God on the true meaning of Christmas. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all nations, may they receive the grace of being open in welcoming the faith proclaimed by the Lord to all peoples. Let us pray. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick and the poor people of God, may they understand the real value of suffering and sacrifice in the light of Christ's mission. Let us pray. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all of us, may this season help us truly love Jesus and allow ourselves to be an instrument of His love and generosity to others. Let us pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For our beloved dead, may their sins be forgiven and be welcomed into the joy of God's kingdom. Let us pray. Lord, hear, hear our prayer. In silence, let us offer our personal intentions. Loving Father, joyfully we wait for the coming of your Son. Grant our prayers and keep us steadfast in our faith through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, we bring to you the bread of life we offer to you. Bless them with your spirit, and together we will eat it. Lord, we bring to you the cup of joy we offer. Bless them with your spirit, and together we will bring it. We lift to you the sacrifice we offer it for your glory. Transform them to your body. A symbol of your love. We lift to you the sacrifice. We offer it for your glory. Your body and blood, the source of our salvation, a symbol of your love. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as he filled with his power 
the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling, John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Romulo and George, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace. And the God he take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. And the God he take away the sins of Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
Let us pray. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please remain standing as we pray for the Synod. All together, we stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity, so that we may journey together to internal life 
and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. In behalf of Archbishop Romulo G. Valles, we would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to the offerer of this Holy Mass, Mrs. Annie Estrella and family. As a sign of our appreciation, let us give them a warm round of applause. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is offered. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. Jesus is coming as the Prince of Peace. Shake off your slumber, come on full of wonder. Jesus is coming as the Prince of Peace. Gently she hears the distant breeze, swaying the silver olive trees. What is she thinking as the sun is sinking, waiting for the birthday of her firstborn son? What is she thinking as the sun is sinking, waiting for the birthday of her firstborn son? mission partners in this live streamed mass alpha gold and associates insurance agency bernard and rose enriquez dolores and jessica capuyan dr mary beth juarez dr oscar and georgie grajeda and family rue mango apartel and swedes dr ramon alohepan and evangeline alohepan caral susie alohepan manitas and aida alohepan antioquia engineer froilan edilion Estela Alohepan Edilion, Engineer Jerry and Remy Hosol and Family, Engineer Ismael and Engineer Arlinda Tabihe and Family, Engineer Joselito and Grace Mercado and Family, Engineer June and Mrs. Evelyn Alegre Sardido and Family, Hilda Limson, Jade Bookstore, Antonia Diaz, Dodong, Glo Catayas and Family, J-Rog Marketing, Mr. and Mrs. Ronnie Osnan and Family, Malco and Glo Cañete and Family, Maria Corazon Tavanlar Yambao Araw, Moses and Partners Management, Joseph and Noah Construction, Mr. and Mrs. Melvin Asumbrado, Diana Divine Cocoa Lumber and Hardware, Mr. Alejandro and Mrs. Grace Adaptar and Family, Mr. Nestor and Mrs. Mary Vic Galgo and Family, Mr. Rudy and Mrs. Jean Sobiaco and Family, Mirna Doropan, Harleen Dalyoson, Richel Luca, One Cycle Mile Corporation, Ornell and Dr. Tora Jovic Fuentes, PT Coco Virgin Coconut Oil and Coffeeville Apartment Homes, Villa Carmelita Inland Resort and Hotel, Mrs. Carmelita Liktawa and Family, Mr. Ronald Bing and Diane Reyes, and Mrs. Lorena Habay and Family. Music 